So it happens. Run into your excavator and you break off a fitting, which this has happened to a lot of people. Uh, either you get a new tube for around $1,200 or you can fix it. I've been fixing these for years the same way and have not had any issues yet. Uh, this is one of the simple ways that I do it. What I go and do is I get a Gates 6 male JIC to 6 male pipe with a 90. There's a UPC number on there. Basically, this is what is on it. There. What I end up doing is taking this plastic off and I weld this directly to here but I will cut this here with an angle grinder cut it nice and flush smooth this all out then I'll get my welder and I'll actually weld to it but first I always remove the rod from the tube because I don't want any of these grinding segments getting down in there and causing a problem scoring up the cylinder or anything uh, if you don't have the tool for this a standard pipe wrench will work just make sure you're only on the cap and not the tube when you're doing this I already have mine loose all right now we get the cutting so we take my angle grinder put a cutting blade on it got a cutting blade and a flap wheel here flap wheels to smooth everything out and get a nice clean surface so i can weld to it here so here we go And if you need to cut it, you can always cut it down a little bit so it matches this one. But I usually just leave it. One thing I forgot to mention about is a ground clamp for your uh, welder. Usually all I'll do is I'll take a flap disc right at the top here. Give yourself a nice spot for your, your ground clamp to clamp on. Today we're going to be using the Power MIG 210 MIG set up with 0.035 wire. We're going to run about a 3 16 280 inches a minute, 18 volts.
then to make sure everything's all cleaned out after we got it done welded we're gonna make sure it's all clean which you're gonna have a bunch of stuff way down in there so what we're gonna end up doing is using brake cleaner You're making sure this is all clean. I'm going to swab the tube, make sure everything's nice and clean, and then we'll start reassembling. All right, now we're going to reassemble the rod. Well, sorry, the tube. Uh, put a little bit of oil on the seals here. place like that and we'll screw the cap off. And there you have it, a completely welded cylinder ready to go. I'll just paint that and paint that down there so it doesn't rust. Slap it on a machine and good to go for about uh, 14 bucks.